I just stopped right there and I said, you can leave. My name is Linda Robertson. I'm from Sherman, Texas. I used to work out here a long time ago. My mother worked out here. My aunt worked out here. My cousin worked out here. It was kind of a family thing when we worked out here. So uh, I started at the age of 13. I used to wash the windows. I made a quarter an hour. And then that lasted about two days. So then I come back as a teenager and I worked out here for four years. Uh, I met my husband and we moved to Abilene. Then when I came back, uh, the home was empty and I could not believe that this grand place was like it is now. They broke ground in 1927. They built just the main building in 1928 and that's when women and children, the orphans, came here to live. And then it was, like I said, it was the Woodman of the World and the Supreme Forest Woodman Circle. When they were together at one time, and then when the women made more money, then they broke away from the Woodman of the World, so they had their own organization. Well, then when Mrs. Talley, she was the grand uh, superintendent, she was the one that it's why it's here. When she passed away, then everything started falling down and the woodmen of the world came back and merged with the Supreme Forest Woodman Circle. There was arguments, so it shut down in 1971. There was over a hundred orphans that lived out here. There was over 88 women that lived here at one time. There was several employees, I don't know how many employees, but there was people that cleaned, people that cooked, and the nurses and house mothers, so there were several employees. My feelings tells me it's not gonna be here as long as I figure it will be gone before I pass away because of the deterioration the building is falling down. So I figure it won't be here much longer because it's so dangerous. And I've, I've met all kinds of people. I've heard all kinds of questions. I've heard all kinds of statements. And like I said, I've been out here all hours of the night and there's no ghost. One night I came to work and we always had to park in the front and the house mother would always unlock the doors where the night shift could come in. Well, that time that I came in, I parked the car and locked the car. Well, when I got out, I heard something snort in the tree right beside me. And instead of using my key to get back in, I run all the way, and there's a fire escape, and our office was right here. I run up the fire escape and was beating on the door. They said it was a rabbit, but I didn't know that rabbits made sounds, and that one made a sound. <laughs> We came out here one Halloween and uh, we had heard that Austin College was supposed to come out here and there was a rival and they were going to fight. So me and my husband came out here. Well, it was actually foggy and misty rain. And so we came in and usually we stayed in the kitchen to look over the ground. Well, my husband was tired, so we went into the office and we sat down on the ground. And he said, Linda, did you hear that? And I said, Danny, you're wanting to go home because I know there wasn't nothing out here. And he said, I heard something. So we left, but there was nothing that ever happened. Like I said, we've heard a lot of stories out here, and I can tell you better than anybody, there's nothing out here bad. Now, there was a supposedly a cult that lived out here for a while, oh yes, and uh, they lived here for about four years, and uh, they left and they broke up, and, and there's a lot of stories about that, but we try not to talk about that, but it's, everybody knows about it. 
the story was told, and this was when the cult lived here, that the elevator shaft, which is this big long brick part, the elevator shaft didn't work, the elevator didn't work. And supposedly we heard that a little four-year-old girl opened the door and fell to her death. But we wasn't sure on that because again, I say the cult lived out here and you know how cults are, it just kept amongst their self. But that's the only death that happened that was not, you know, natural cause. Oh, I could tell you so many stories, but you ain't got enough film and enough time. But it's a good place. It was always a Christian home. The ladies was very wealthy. Now, you couldn't get in here because you wanted to. You had to have money and land. And as soon as you came in out here, you turned it all over to the Supreme Forest Woodman Circle. So it, it wasn't a nursing home. It was strictly always a home.